Oh guys, you have no idea how excited I am to be talking to you right now. Um, so if you haven't seen my Instagram or my um, in community tab post on here, I did um, have COVID for the past like week and a half. My husband and I both got it. We have no clue how, um, but I'm feeling so much better now. We've been in the house for almost a little over a week and a half now. And um, so that's where I've been. If you didn't catch um, my posts about it, hi, um, I'm back. Uh, I hope you're doing well today. But I'm also so, so, so excited about this video today. Um, so this is actually a video featuring this box right here in partnership with Finders Keepers. Um, so and Meredith and Riley both reached out to me. Um, they are the owners of Finders Keepers. They have a podcast and they have a brand um, and an Instagram and everything like that where they sell these personalized style bundles. And they offered to send me one, which I thought was so, so sweet. They were so, so sweet and kind and gracious. Um, so I really, really appreciate them. Thank you guys so much for reaching out. Basically, like I said, it's a personalized style bundle. Besides my thrift swaps, this is the first time I'm being styled and it's just like uh, a thrift box for me so I'm very very excited about this I've been watching these kinds of videos for so long on TikTok and YouTube um, so I'm very excited to be included in this now this is so cool a little bit about finders keepers really quick they have a, like I said a podcast they have an Instagram um, and on their Instagram is where you can buy these personalized style bundles that they offer they are just the sweetest girls ever they have the coolest podcast that I personally really really love I just think it's so cool they talk about everything from thrifting to fashion to like they had a closet clean out episode like they just had so many cool different things like that and I I highly recommend checking their podcast out and their Instagram because also their Instagram is very, very aesthetic and very cute just like to look at for inspo. Um, so I'm going to link everything down below, Riley and Meredith, Finders Keepers, podcast socials, and I highly recommend you give them a follow and listen to them. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much again for doing this with me. I'm so excited. So anyway, basically they sent me over one of their big boxes, I believe it's called, um, where four garments and one to two homeware items. So I think this is going to be so fun and so cool. Basically all I had to do was send them my measurements my sizing and my like things that I don't want which I didn't have anything that I wasn't looking for or didn't want because I'm pretty open to everything and I really am actually really in the spot right now where I want to expand my horizons my fashion horizons because I am like getting a little bit bored with my style so I think this came at the perfect perfect time um I have not opened it yet I'm on my floor by the way my feet are like falling off um, these cute little fringy things up on my closet because I feel like this is a better angle than what you usually see. Um, so hopefully it's cute for you to guys to watch. But anyway, um, okay, let's get into the box. I am going to sit down here and open everything. Um, and we are going to style it up and different things like that. So I'm sweating. I'm so excited. And also this sweatshirt is really, really just warm. But okay, so cute their little stickers are. Oh my God, I'm gonna add this to my sticker collection. I've been collecting stickers lately. These are so stinking cute. Um, graphic design on point and then the little business card so cute all right I'm gonna read this now he sent me the cutest note and it's kind of like broken down by each piece so that's kind of what I'm going to go off of I'm gonna pull something out of the box and then like read their little note about it and then we're going to style them at the end so okay wait first I'm ah! hold on this is so cute oh my god Oh my god, that is the cutest thing ever. It's like a little quilted bag. I literally have a quilt in my corner that I've been wanting to make into a bag for so long. I've been wanting a quilted bag. This is amazing. And it's like purple, which I've been obsessed with the color purple lately for some reason. Oh my god, it's so cute. With the cute little tag here. Oh my god, I love this. This is going to be like a staple this summer. Um, I'm not kidding. I've been, if you can see behind me, I don't think you can. I only have like black and brown bags and I'm like I want colorful bags but I can never ever find cute ones this is adorable I am so excited about that see okay quilted purse found this and had to include it for you such a fun vintage vibe yes oh my god I'm so excited okay perfect now I see this oh oh my god it's a dress shut up first of all I love this color it's like a cheetah print little shift dress I would call it um, and it is the prettiest shade of blue. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's by Sag Harbor, which I love vintage Sag Harbor. I don't know why I always seem to gravitate towards them, um, but this is adorable. I love that color. Um, and then let's see what they wrote. A blue leopard dress. We thought this went so well with the other colorful pieces. We think you would rock this and love the statement piece in bright colors. Very true, I love that. Okay, next is this Oh, I love this already. Oh my God. 
oh my god cute this pretty pink sweater adorable oh my god this is so cute i love vintage sweaters like this um and oh my god it looks like it's like hand knit it's so beautiful i love this shade i don't think i have anything this color at all um let's see what they said about this the pink chunky sweater we saw the pink chunky knits on your board and had to include this we think it's such a fun transitional piece oh yeah i did send them a pinterest board as well um which was super cool i just sent them over my like fashion board that i usually pin my like outfit and spose on and different things like that um so that was very fun like, that they uh, um asked for something like that because i think it really helps like encapsulate because sometimes it's hard especially with me i feel like I don't dress how I uh, like the style that I'm looking for per, per se like all the time um, and so I feel like that's like a really good way of like your goals you know your inspo anyway this is so cute very excited to style that next is oh stop it stop this is so cute oh you guys look at its little checker print if you can't see this i am obsessed i have my chair behind me too i am checker print queen right now i'm in a forever checker print phase my whole life and i'm so obsessed so anyway oh it's like a almost like a it's like a blazer dress um or a long blazer oversized blazer i want to say this is like so cool um so this one blazer we know you like this pattern and had to include it we love the tailored look and think this is such a, vers a versatile piece um for the checkered queen oh my god i love this Woo! this is going to be a staple and it has like it has like hardcore um shoulder pads which i think is such a vibe um this is adorable i i can think of like 101 ways that i'm going to style that so okay um next is this beautiful oh it's a set see you guys like really they really nailed this so far um okay so bright blue set an amazing colorful set we thought you would look so good in this set oh thank you oh my god it's oh it's long sleeve okay can you see this color this is the top and then oh my oh wait and then it came with these pants which are like um little cut of, oh these are so cute look at the little pit there and the little uh button oh my god this is adorable okay so first off this color again it's I am obsessed with this blue color lately. I just think that it's like such a pretty color. This color with like, oh, if I had some orange pumps, like some cool orange shoes, that would be so sick. Um, but I love this. I cannot wait to style this. This I saw from just now and, I, and I've been so excited to look at it. Okay, so this is the brown puffer vest. We had to throw this in for you. It's a perfect neutral item and thought it would be great for that Michigan weather. Thank you. I appreciate you thinking of that because that is a struggle in itself. Um, but okay, oh my God. <gasps> this is like a 70s movie's dream. Like this is so dreamy. This is a freaking find. Okay, first of all, sounds like a jacket that was way too small I put it in a thrift with me I think like a while ago and it was like $80 at the thrift store and so I was like no I'm not gonna get that but I wanted it so bad because it gave this exact feel but this is better because it's neutral um and I can wear this so many different ways I am so excited Jared's going to freak over this he's gonna probably want to steal it from me um I love that so much okay and then next is this crochet blanket more color we love this blanket and thought this was the perfect homer item for you so cozy <gasps> Oh my god, I love the colors. Oh, I know where I'm going to put this. This is so cute. And I've honestly wanted a blanket for so long and I never ever found like the right one, but this is so beautiful. It almost looks like that like pattern that's really, really popular right now on that shirt. I can't think of it, but it's gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, so that's everything in the box. Now we are going on to styling it. I am so, so excited. Thank you guys so much already um all right let's get in to styling i'm gonna stand up and we're gonna get styling okay felix wants to be in this shot but okay i hope you can see the whole outfit i will so this is my thought process on this i feel so cute first of all in this outfit i love it um but what i did i just took this little tank top that i had from target and i threw it on under this set this is the blue set um and i think it looks so cute like this and then i, and then I have my cute little quilted bag here um and then i just paired it with i just paired it with these sneakers my reeboks because the blue in the sneakers uh 
I don't know if you can see them, but they're blue. I have these earrings that I thought looked super cute with it. I made these like a long time ago and I love any excuse I have oops, to wear them. Um, so this is the first outfit, how I styled it. I think it looks super cute. I'm going to be wearing this all summer and spring because I love the way a tank top can break up like a set like this and make it like almost feel really complete because I don't know, I just think this outfit is super cute and I love the way that the um, the like length that this is, I don't know, for some reason it hits me like perfectly on my wrist, so I love that. Um, and then I think that this is such a cute little addition. I think it looks so cute with this outfit. It's like a nice little extra pop of color um, and I'm ready to go leave the house. Um, now, wait, let's pick out a purse. Okay, I feel like we need a black purse to go with it. No, I don't know. Okay, so I feel like a vintage dream. This I just thought of this really quickly. What if I were to have put black tights, like black sheer or opaque tights on under this dress? I should have thought of that. That would have been so cute, but think of it in your mind while you're watching it and say, pretend I have those on. This is the dress. I want to say first off, I love the cut of this. It is the most cool, I don't know what this dress is. It reminds me, it's like an, it reminds me of like an 80s pattern, but like an older like 60s, 70s style dress. I don't know, I just really love it. So I love, love, love the red. I picked a pair of red uh, earrings to go with it because I just love the idea. I don't know, I just love the mesh of this too. But, but I think one more thing would help. And that is red lipstick, so I'm putting on my favorite red lipstick. This is the e.l.f. Cherry lipstick. It's a messy lipstick job on my part, but that's okay. I think it totally adds to the look. Ooh, I feel like I'm in like a vintage movie. A vintage movie? That's not what they're called. This is the look. I just paired it with this thrifted um, leather jacket, which is one of my favorite leather jackets. My black cowboy boots, and then I just stuck my hair up and put red earrings on from, actually these are from Target, I believe, last summer. This is something I would wear out to dinner. Um, this is something that I would wear to a, on my birthday. I don't know where I go anymore or what I do anymore, but yeah. <laughs> so I, I hope you can see this outfit. I personally love this outfit. I feel like a 70s dad, like like seriously. We styled the whole outfit around this vest. Um, I just kind of anchored the black shirt with these black sandals that I have. Um, and then I have my like favorite brown trousers that are thrifted. Um, and I just loved the color and the way that it matched the top part here. Retro-y like 70s aviators because like, you know, I just kind of had to. Um, I don't know if these sandals are 70s era per se, but um, this is going to get so much wear. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, I was taking pictures and I don't know if the sandals necessarily go with it, but I would just switch it out for like a sneaker like these and I think it would look a little bit cuter, to be honest. If I had a tan sneaker, there we would be, we'd be going. But I, I wanna also mention, I love how cropped it is. It like fits perfectly and it's just a very nice shape. I love it. This is my party outfit. I changed it. I think I like it better with the tank top. So this is the new look. Um, I just paired it with like, this, this tank top again from Target from the first outfit. Um, and I just kind of like left it open. I thought it would be like really cool to have it close enough. Even with this, I kind of like it still. Um, but I think, I don't know, something about it. I just feel like it looks super cool. And like I would roll these sleeves up here. Give it a little judge. Um, but yeah, at first I thought, you know, she's the moment she does not want to be interrupted. But I think having like a shirt on under it kind of like, opens it a little, opens the doors more to like a little bit more fashion. So I think it looks a little bit cuter like this. Um, so that's what I have on, tank top. And then my sandals are, yeah, they're like heel sandals from ASOS. And then my thrifted cut off Bermuda shorts that I wear in all of my styling videos. But um, I love this. I love the shoulders on this thing. Like, so this is how I would style the sweater, the last item of clothing. I love this sweater. I think it is so cute um, and it just feels really nicely constructed. Um, and so I just paired it with, with a super like oversized denim shorts that I had from last summer. And I just think it looks super cute and vintagey. Um, and then I just paired it with a pair of white Reebok sneakers that are actually Jared, not mine. So um, <laughs> yeah, 
So I think this is super cute. This is an outfit that I would wear right now. Like if I were able to go somewhere, I would wear this. Um, I think it's super cute and it's like perfect for spring because you can still wear shorts in the spring. And like if you're wearing like a warmer top, you know, instead of like swapping it. So this is my outfit. I think the super, the colors look super cute together too. And the bag to pull it all together, spice it up, super cute. That basically wraps everything up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much Finders Keepers and Riley and Meredith um, for sending me this box. I had so much fun styling it and opening it um, and I love everything. You guys are going to be seeing this all over my Instagram and YouTube. Um, I'm sure I'll style these pieces in other ways as well in my, my upcoming outfit videos and such. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow all of Finders Keepers socials down below. I'll link everything and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.